Hello, welcome to another Earth Palette dyeing video. I'm Jane, the owner of Earth Palette, and today we're going to be dyeing a pair of stockpile woolen socks. So come with me and we'll get on with it. Okay, so these are the socks that we're going to be dyeing today. As you can see, the stockpile socks, they are merino wool, made in Australia, from Australian merino, and they're machine washable. They have a little bit of cotton at the heels and the toes to allow for sweat absorption and to be more comfortable. But as I said, they are machine washable, and once we've dyed them, the color won't come out. It'll stay there forever. Okay, so we've got our dyes already mixed up. These are the dyes we're using. Earth Palette dyes are made in Australia. They are considered to be a cold set dye. Traditionally, wool dyes have been a matter of boiling, or not quite boiling, holding fibre like wool or protein fibres, alpaca, silk, at high temperatures to enable the dyes to set. But with these dyes, they are called cold set dyes because they only need a temperature of about 23 to 25 degrees to actually set the dyes. They are fibre reactive dyes, they actually bond permanently to the fibre and won't wash out. They last, once you, I've mixed these up already, once they're mixed into a solution they will last for many many years as long as you keep them in a sealed container. Um, be careful with children because they do look nice and bright and although they're not considered to be poisonous we don't really want the children to drink them at all so the dye powder is mixed with warm water and um, everything you need is actually in these containers the dye the fixative everything's in them the acid you don't need it to add anything else except water to give you your dye liquor and then continue on dyeing okay so we have our socks ready to dye um, I've already mixed our dyes up into a liquid so we're ready to go the socks have been soaking in um, water I like to add a little bit of vinegar or citric acid to mine but it's not um, essential because you've already got acid in with your dye mixture so please yourself whether you do that I've got a piece of um, glad wrap underneath my socks which I'm going to dye on and I've got a protective plastic cover on my table so I don't get dye everywhere okay so we're going to start with the turquoise and I'm going to use it on the toes first as I said before the toes and the heels have a little bit of cotton and elastane in them so the dye won't take there quite as well as it will with the wool on the rest of the sock so it will stain them but it, so a lot of it will wash out but this will still um, look pretty good on your socks in between, I wipe my hands with a, a cloth so, um, so I don't contaminate the next dye colour. Okay, so you just put the dye on, the dye liquid, liquid, whoops, liquor in um, whatever design you would like. You can mix the colours a little bit and you'll get that secondary colour. Wipe our hands again, put some yellow on. I just work it in a little bit with my fingers, but we're going to turn it over and do the other side so I don't get too um, particular about it. We might even just make it turquoise all the way up to the cuffs. Right, we just work it in a little bit with our fingers. We wipe our hands free and then we flip our sock over so that we can put a little bit more dye on the other side. As you can see it is already soaking through but we'll just put a little bit on to cover up all the white spots. I 
I'll put all the turquoise on first and then I'll go back and put the other colours on. This time I'll make sure all my white spots are covered up. Where these two colours have mixed, we've got a really beautiful orange and a really nice little green there too. So even though we've only used three colours, we've got a little bit more than that. Okay, so now we just make sure we wipe up anywhere where we think it's going to mess up our dyeing. And then what I do is I bring the plastic from each end in towards the middle and then I fold it down so I've got a nice little secure package and then I use these trays these are actually kitty litter trays but you can use whatever you want to put them in and then I leave them overnight I would leave these in my studio overnight because it's a little bit warmer than it is outside because it's the middle of June here and it's only about 14, 15 degrees outside. But we'll come back tomorrow morning and see how these look. So it's the next morning and um, it was pretty cold here last night. In my studio it was only about 15 degrees. So this morning I actually did Put these socks into my microwave that I use for dyeing and I give them I gave them two minutes zapped them for two minutes and then I left them for about two hours so I will unwrap them and have a look I can see when I do give them a little bit of a squeeze that the um, dye liquor is pretty clear move these out a bit here now as you can see you can see the the liquid running off the side here can you see that that is all very very faintly tinged but it really doesn't have any color so the turquoise possibly might have a bit more but not a lot and that means that your dyes are set and they are actually ready to be rinsed out and um, dried. Now, I just rinse them in water that's the same temperature as the socks are, so that's about barely warm. Okay, so cold water is just fine. Because they're machine washable, you don't have to be quite so stressed about making sure you don't change the temperature of the water. So I give them a good rinse, I squeeze them out, give them a good rinse as you can see that that's quite clear that dye liquor that's running out um, I rinse them just in cold water by hand and then um, I dry them somewhere flat in the shade I prefer not to hang any of my dyed stuff on the line to dry because I think it just um, doesn't keep it as its best um, and after this Feel free, once you've rinsed them out, to get rid of the dye liquor and any um, residual citric acid or anything that's in there, thickener, whatever. Feel free to wash them in the wash machine on a wool cycle um, and dry them wherever you like. You can dry them on the line if you want, but if you do, just make sure you turn them inside out so that the colours don't fade in the sunshine. Okay, so I've rinsed out the socks. Here they are. The colours are beautifully bright. This is the colour you get if you use the dyes full strength. So once you mix up the dye powder with warm water and create that dye liquor, this is the colour that they come out as. Okay, so now we'll just let these dry and then they're ready to wear. Thank you for joining me. Um, please like the video. If you have any comments or um, questions, please post them in the comment section underneath and we will 
bring you more videos, tutorials on using the earth palette dies in the near future. Have a good day.